Hey, what's up? It's Philip from Easy Unreal, and let me show you this uh, great plugin for Unreal Engine 5 that will help you uh, easily design your uh, environment and that will help you in your designs. First step is to go to the marketplace in your Unreal Engine 5 and over here type in physical layout and uh, click on a physical layout tool. You will get this option install to engine, click it and uh, choose the engine version you want to install to. I already installed for my 5.3. Okay, the next step is to launch your Unreal Engine 5. Over here, go to games. So you can choose the third person, for example. Okay, when you are inside, just go to edit and plugins and type in layout and enable this physical layout uh, plugin and click restart now okay after you restarted your unreal engine 5 go to this that says selection mode in this drop down menu and uh, you will have a physical layout mode tool uh, over here enabled just click it and we are now inside as you can see the strange thing happens because i have uh, my uh, floor selected while I'm uh, enabling this uh, tool. Okay, I will go to new level, choose basic, and over here make sure that nothing is selected before you choose this tool. So go to physical layout mode, and what we want to enable is this paint place. And to choose our objects, just scroll down and over here you can see add reference mesh to place. Uh, over here we can choose, uh, for example, our cube, Static mesh or you can click again add reference mesh to place to select another for example sphere and over here on top you can reduce this minimum distance. This will be the distance between the objects when you paint with them. Uh, again uh, minimum rotation random you can choose this how you like to add some randomness in the rotation and over here scale from 1 to 3 to change the scale. And now if you paint you can see this uh, this looks very very bad because we didn't uh, select this place with gravity so make sure to enable this place with gravity so it will add this object over here i think i messed up something with the scaling so i'll go back to normal as you can see your items will be physically distributed in your uh, level another good thing is that we want to use them with mega scans so to do that we go to bridge we can go to collections environment natural and over here canyons of utah i will type in boulder i already have some boulders downloaded for my previous project uh, and if you want you can just drag and drop it over here and drop it here Make sure to go back to selection mode and just drag and drop over here like this. And I will drop this one. Just make sure to deselect everything and now go to physical layout mode. Go to paint in place. Go down and add reference. For example, I have these mega scans assets over here. So I will add this one. Add reference and add the second one and reduce the minimum distance between them over here and add some rotations over here click this place with gravity and now if you paint you can see that they are uh, dropping uh, through our level we need to fix that make sure to go back to selection mode you can go over here and choose static mesh and we will have our static meshes over here and uh, just select the first one and make sure to go to collision and click auto convex collision and on the right side go under the collision presets over here complexity make sure to select this use a simple collision as complex and save it do the same with the second one i have multiple instances of the same one so don't worry collision auto convex collision apply and go back to collision complexity use simple collision as complex save it and if you now paint with those assets you can just drag and drop and one one here and one here make sure to place with gravity selected you can just add them like this okay we will reduce this size over here so we can add a bunch of them so they can move around okay looks like we have some problems some of them move some of them don't go back to selection tool and over here we can delete everything except the lighting like this delete this one and this one and now if i go back to physical layout mode I can go to paint in place, reduce the distance between them, position, click place with gravity, add two of them over here like this and now paint with them. 
you can see that they will distribute themselves randomly in the level okay this is how you do it in level so let's for example open my recent projects uh, this canyon uh, to show you how it looks in uh, environment let me just quickly open my level if you can see I have this uh, valley over here if you are interested in this project uh, you can check out the video uh, the link is in the description how to create this manually but we'll use uh, our plugin to populate this river with uh, the boulders and stones and now we just go to selection mode go to physical layout mode choose the paint in place I will go back to my mega scans folder under the 3d assets and choose these two boulders for example I will make sure to enable place with gravity like before drag and drop it over here add reference mesh to place and I will add the second one like this uh, reduce the distance between them and go with the minimum rotation rotation and scale to be between one and three like this okay let's paint them over here for example like this you can see how they nicely fall and over here okay let's add more here and a few of them here you can you can add them from the higher altitude so you can see how they nicely drop down just one tip uh, uh, now these uh, elements now these boulders are physical objects and indeed they will eat up your memory and to prevent that uh, go to selection go to physical layout mode and make sure to select these bake selected actors into instant mesh and they, they will be part of your environment uh, and they will they wouldn't have any physics on it so you can enable one of them uh, other one you can bake other ones and you will be just fine and this is it if you find this uh, tutorial helpful let me know in the comments below and see you in the next one bye bye